one of the things I've seen online is this work when you want to work meme. And typically when you're running a business, you can't work when you want to work when the customers are out at a certain time. I will give you 2014. I wanted to write a book about Uber, so I signed up with Uber and I drove for six weeks. And I quickly found out that if you wanted to make money, there were certain hours that you had to work. Now, Uber was different in 2014 than it is today. You can pretty much wake up anytime because Uber is such a wide used commodity. And that was almost 10 years ago. But what I quickly found out that for me to make money with Uber, I had to get up at 430 get those first morning runs. I would make like 200, 250 between 4.30 and 10.30. Then it would just drop off and I wouldn't really work that much. And typically I could make a lot of money on a Saturday and Sunday, but I had to work when the customers were out. And this is the, really, the reality of this business and we're talking about discipline. One of the things I consistently see over and over and over with YouTube ads and stuff is work when you want to work. Just roll out of bed at one o'clock, start working and make all this money, right? Um, typically, that, that's, that's not going to work. That's just not going to work. And I can hear their allure because essentially, if I was a unseasoned, unsophisticated, non-financial person, these memes, these things would work really well on me because the people that they work on, these folks are not stupid. They're not dumb, but they're unseasoned. They don't know the rules and the process that makes things pump. They're unaware of that. And this brings us to the discipline of the business owner. And I'm about to go way back in time and I'm gonna come up to time because years and years ago, I had to wake up every day and list 100 Craigslist ads. This was selling um, bedroom sets, this was selling living room sets, this was selling washer and dryers, sometimes this was selling surfboards, this was selling tents, bicycles, guitars, anything you could think of. And this is the stuff that we had in our warehouse. And in the beginning, it was somewhat tricky because, you know, I had to set up a whole different procedure, which is why I wrote the book, Pimping Craigslist for Fun and Profit, because I had to create a system, I had to create a methodology to manage 100 ads a day. And I got, at one point in the beginning, because it was really hard, it was cumbersome, I just stopped listing ads. And our sales dropped. I mean, they just dropped. And I really felt that. And I, I stopped posting ads for about two weeks and our sales dropped like 42%. It was quite noticeable. And as I was buying storage units, inventory started stacking up because what we had done at one point due to the discipline of a business owner was we was advertising, we were selling on eBay, we were selling on Craigslist, we were selling on Amazon, we had the upscale garage sale. And once I slacked off, I felt it. It wasn't like a little drop. It was a huge drop. And I was like, good Lord. So guess what? After I did after two weeks, uh, I started listing ads on Craigslist again. And from that two week period, I never stopped it. I would actually set stuff up if I wanted to go on vacation where I could list stuff and my partner will handle it while I was on vacation. The discipline of a business owner this is one of the most important things because I'm getting ready to tell you guys something. And before I do that, I want you to subscribe. I want you to get the money course. It's free. And I want you to get the productivity course, which will teach you how to manage yourself so you can make some money. The discipline of a business owner. Like I said, I'm getting ready to tell you something. If there's someone you're following online, this is my recommendation. Do not follow 10 different people because you're gonna get 10 different insights. You're gonna get 10, it's just gonna become very, very confusing. 
pick one or two and follow them and stick with them. Because one of the things that I have consistently have seen and I have acknowledged is people are looking for simple, quick, fast, easy traits. They're not looking for the discipline. They're looking for something that they can do when they have time or, you know, this, this ad cracks me up. Hey, Chet, he's busy traveling the world and he made $50,000 a month part time. Um, maybe Chet's real. I don't know, but I find that really, really hard because I'm about to tell you something. And this is something that comes from 24 years of business experience. Making ten to twenty thousand dollars per month consistently is hard. It's just hard. And once you get to that level, and then you tweak your business and do the things you need to do, and then you can get higher and higher and higher. But the reality is, if you want to make money in your business, you need to be disciplined about your business. You need to actually put forth a very strong effort to be that person in your business. Because like, like once again, I've seen it. I've learned these lessons from the upscale garage sale with first with the Craigslist signs, well, with the Craigslist ads, and then I've learned it with putting up the signs. This is what I used to do to prepare for the upscale garage sale. I would go out and I would put signs out, right? I would put signs like uh, our warehouse was on Hammer Mill Road and we we're off Mountain Industrial, which was a very, very busy intersection. And what I did was I would put signs. There was a quick trip at the corner now there's a McDonald's there, but there was a quick trip. I used to put signs starting at the quick trip and that would be one, two, three signs. And then I would put signs leading people all the way to the warehouse. Uh, one of the things that I found to be really problematic is people would put up garage sales and you would get lost because they didn't put up enough signs to direct you to the garage sale. And I would literally put uh, four signs on the other side, lead people in. And at one point, I got lazy and I didn't want to put the signs up and we would typically do a bad day for the upscale garage sale was like 2,500. A good day was like 20,000, right? And I didn't put up enough signs and we made $650 that day, $650 that day. Cause I did not put up enough signs. So guess what I was doing next Saturday. I was putting the signs back up and then the next Saturday we did like 9,000. So, what I have learned from trial and error is as a business owner, you need to have a certain level of discipline to do the rock solid things that brings money into your business day after day after day, whether they're fun, whether they're entertaining, whether they're spectacular. And it, to the point, I'm going to be honest, posting Craigslist ads was very boring. It was nothing exciting about it. It got exciting when someone came in and bought something that was exciting. But the posting of ads of itself, that, that was nothing exciting about that. There was nothing exciting about it. There was nothing exciting about putting up the signs. There was nothing. And I want to come up to a, a, a more recent, more recent than upscale garage sale. When I started YouTube and I was selling the book pimping. Uh, not pimping Craigslist. Pimping Craigslist is a different book, but making money A to Z with subscription auctions. I was selling that book, and I sold that book hard for about five years. What did it require? Telling stories of things I got out of storage units. That was the drive. That was the vibe. That was the thing that kept it going. And whenever I told stories about storage auctions, whenever I wrote stories about storage auctions on the blog. I got sales. Whenever I got cute and I got fancy, <laughs> that's when sales would drop off. Because once again, as a business owner, you must be disciplined about doing the work that brings in sales. And you cannot stray from it. You cannot dither from it. Like right now uh, with the revamp 
And fortunately, I have enough business experience that, uh, to be honest, the revamp is going much better than I anticipated because I was really, really dreading the revamp because, you know, essentially it was kind of like starting over. And that can be like almost a year on YouTube. Fortunately, we started this process March 15th and we're going to be at May 15th would be the second month. And we have cleared up a lot of damage. My larger channel has gotten 35,000 views, which is the most views it's gotten. 35,000 views this month is most views it's gotten since I started the revamp. And that channel may be close to 100K, which is pretty significant compared to where I used to be. Cause the, you know, here's the thing. None of my YouTube channels never blew up, never blew up. What I was doing, and this is one of the reasons I don't do shorts. Um, let's talk about that. Short form content gets you a completely different customer. You don't believe me? Go to a YouTube channel that has a lot of shorts, look at their short form content, and then go look and see if they're doing it literally because it's so depressing that a lot of the people who create a lot of short form content do not have the heart to keep creating long form content because it just doesn't i mean you got a short that's doing like 120,000 and you put up a long form video and it does 830 views that's really depressing and once again these folks are not doing it but one of the reasons I don't do short form content is it gets you a different type of customer. And once you get that customer, these customers just will not go over to your long form content. And, and incidentally, a lot of these customers don't even know who you are unless you just have like there, there's this girl and she, in my opinion, is extremely talented. She has a lot of short form content. It's in the fashion arena. She's super, super slick, super, super smart. She's got over a million subscribers, but here's the thing. She's been in the same apartment for the last two years. You wanna know why? Even though she's getting tons and tons of views, she's not making a lot of money with short form content. Uh, one guy posted, he got like almost, I think a hundred million views and his short form content made $2,900. 2000 there's a lot of small YouTube channels that don't even have 100,000 subscribers making more than that from long form content. So one of the things is during this revamp, I've had to keep my head down, just keep working, keep working, keep working, because I've been through this before. So that, that's, that's the benefit. I've been through this before. So I knew what to expect. And honestly, the revamp is going much faster than what I had prepared myself for. Cause I was like, all right, dude, we do this revamp. We change up stuff. You could be looking at a year because that's typically what happens when the channel starts. Fortunately, I wasn't starting from scratch. Fortunately, I had some loyal, dedicated subscribers. Thank you guys. And uh, literally this revamping process is gonna be done. Well, it's gonna be revamped and we'll be getting back to normal, I would say the end of this month, which is two and a half months, which frankly is not that bad. Really isn't that bad compared to, I was like, dude, you can be dealing with this for a year. So because I had the discipline to actually look at the true facts of what this revamp is gonna do, because I lost a lot of subscribers, I lost a lot of views, and I knew that was gonna happen and I was prepared for that to happen. And I've set myself up where, you know, I'll be just fine while that happened. And because I prepared myself, I looked at the ugly truth. It ain't, it's just not as, it's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It is not even close to as being as bad because um, my main channel, and let me explain to you when I talk about this. Um, when I started to revamp, I lost, maybe a thousand people who literally unsubscribed. So I would see this huge number of 983 and it was real prevalent last month and it got down to 600. And now I've actually have a pulse count and subscribers on the main channel. 
I got 91 subscribers this month. I was like, what? When did that happen? And then this channel is like negative 19. So I'm gonna start getting subscribers back on this channel. And I'm just sitting there like, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. So the discipline is, as a business owner, you have to be prepared for the worst and you must have a plan for the worst. Because, you know, it could happen. And fortunately for me, it didn't happen. But I've learned from years and years of experience of marketing, advertising, and doing certain things over and over and over and over and over again, that whether you feel like it or you don't feel like it, you need to do that. Because if you don't do that, the ramifications, the bad outcomes that can befall you, that can happen to you, you cannot, you cannot toy with that. The, the bad outcomes, the, the bad things that will happen, you cannot toy with that. And today I woke up with a smile on my face because once again, what I do, I put the money course because personally I feel everyone needs to be financially educated. Everyone needs a long-term emergency fund. Everyone needs a short-term emergency fund. Everyone needs a family operating account. And I made that free. That course will always be free. And then I started on the productivity course. And let, let's talk about this. What am I talking about? The discipline of being a business owner. Doing things. You consistently have to do things. I know, I know, I know people are like, I want a business where I could just set it and forget it and don't have to do nothing. I could be on the, on the beach with Big Booty Betty. Just chilling drinking tropical drinks, just chilling, not working, essentially. But from what I know, and I'm not, I can only speak from my position, that I know to have a successful business, you must have a certain level of discipline, and there are certain things that you have to do, even if you don't feel like doing them, to make your business successful. And this, this is one of the biggest things, this is one of the most important things for people to understand and acknowledge. Because, like I said, I watch a lot of YouTube ads because I look at, I check out their funnels. And incidentally, there was a guy who was running short form content as an ad. He virtually did a TikTok. It was like a 60 second video and he ran that for a hot minute and he stopped running that. I have not seen that ad since I saw it one time. I have not seen it ever again. And I'm going to tell you why you're not seeing it. Once again, what did I just say about short form content? People who crave and dictate and watch short form content are a different group of people. And this guy was running a lot of long form ads, long form, two, three minutes. That would be considered long form. And I saw those for months. But this ad, I literally saw it one time and he stopped running it because I'm going to tell you why. It ain't performing. It ain't bringing in money. And this is one of the things, and that's pretty smart of him. He tried it. It didn't work. And he's like, hey, we're going to pull this back, and we're going to put these advertising dollars back in the long-form advertising content. Because one of the things that has to happen as a business owner, number one, you got to manage your money. And this is one of the reasons that I put the money management course out, made it free to educate, to help people, it's because that's critical. You need to be managing your money, managing your credit before you start your business. Because this is what's gonna happen. Let's say you start a business and you've got a lot of debt, you've got bad money habits, and you start a business and the business, even though you have all this bad stuff in your personal life, the business takes off. Guess what you're gonna do to that business? Because you have mad, bad money management habits you're going to <clears throat> actually lose in that business. Your, your personal life is going to literally destroy that business because you don't have any discipline. I've routinely talked about, I've got probably uh, $500,000 in personal credit. At the moment, I have zero dollars on my personal credit. You wanna know why? Because my personal credit is just a front. My personal credit is to get me more business credit. And at the moment, I'm gardening. If you don't know what gardening is, it's like a moment where you tend, 
a phase where you just don't apply for anything. Uh, I will apply for something if it's a soft pull or a business credit card and they're not going to hit my credit report with an inquiry because I have plans for 2024 to really go for some more business credit and I need to let a lot of stuff age and season off my credit report. So I'm definitely not applying for any more personal credit cards. I got plenty there and um, pretty much not really applying for anything. I may get some more American Express products and this is really interesting because at one point I had nine American Express credit cards. I had three charge cards and six credit cards. So I know for a fact, due to my American Express consumer profile, I can get up to six credit cards. I got up to six and you know, I talk about how to use those and I just transferred the credit limits, those six credit of two of those credit cards to uh, one of my credit cards and I just shut them down. So at the moment I have seven American Express cards. I have three charge cards and I've got four credit cards. So I know for a fact that I can get up to six American Express charge cards. And you know, I, I'll, I'll share some stuff with you. I spent over $130,000 this year on American Express. And because I have spent and paid, this is spent and paid off, I can get a lot from American Express based upon my credit. Like I spent $165,000 last year. I spent $130,000 this year. And we've got June, we've got half the year left over. So it just kind of depends on what happens. But once again, you as a business owner needs to have a lot of discipline with your money. You need to have a lot of discipline with your credit. Cause like I said, uh, I'm probably not going to apply for anything that's going to do a hard pull for anything. And I will start applying again in 2024. But because I have such a strong profile and I will not have all these inquiries because like last year, I, I went nuts because I got a lot of credit cards last year. And um, but once again, what are we talking about? I have seven, I have five hundred thousand dollars in personal credit and I have not zero on it. And on my business credit, uh, I'm using currently I owe American Express forty five hundred dollars with the platinum and with the gold, I probably owe them fifty five hundred. I'm going to pay that off in full at the end of the month. So that's going to move up my spending level with American Express. But once again, as a business owner, as a business owner, you have have to have discipline because I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm not trying to be overly critical. But when is the last time that you saw a 350 pound or 450 pound or 500 pound multi-millionaire business owner? You've never seen it on TikTok. You've never seen it on Instagram. You've never seen it on YouTube. There's a reason. At the moment, I currently weigh 250 pounds. At my heaviest, and at this point, I was lifting a lot of weights. I was like 290. And it showed in the videos. It showed in the videos how huge I was. And once again, this this right here is my max. This is pretty much as big as I plan on getting because I'm lifting in the gym. I'm getting stronger. Uh, I, but my goal is to be strong and flexible. My goal is not to be huge. At one point, my goal was to be huge, to be you know large, you know benching 400 pounds deadlifting 700 squatting like 650 but those days are over i will probably never ever move that kind of weight again ever in life but once again i'm in a different place i want a different look i'm in a different life but once again it all comes down to discipline you're not going to have the business that you want long term if you do not have discipline that's how important discipline is discipline is irreplaceable in the format in the formation of business now you've got some people who will get lucky with cryptocurrency i think the corn is pp pe pe i don't know peppy whatever the corn whatever it is and there's people who are making money with that if you can buy it at the right time hold it at the right time and sell it at the right time you can make a lot of money but 
from traditional business applications and putting a business together, you're gonna have discipline. You gotta have discipline with your money, you gotta have discipline with your credit. You gotta have discipline. And there's a lot of people who just don't wanna have discipline. I saw this video, it's like, just put it in the bag. We ain't even gonna look at the price. I look at the price of everything I buy. I'm just like that. But once again, you, you must have discipline. You must have critical and important discipline for you to be doing the things that you wanna do in your life, in your business. It is critical, it is important, it is necessary. Now, for discipline, I got a new course and there's something new that's coming up. I'll be talking about it probably next week. One of the things that you wanna do is have an understanding of creating the life that you wanna live. And this is what the productivity course is about. It's about you creating the life that you need to create for you to become that person who can become successful. So I want you to go ahead and get the money course and I want you to go ahead and get the productivity course. Now this is something, the, producti <clears throat> the productivity course is gonna be finished this weekend and then we're gonna be talking about something else. But right now the productivity course has a price that you should get in, you should get on it and you should go ahead and get that knowledge, get that training, get that discipline so you can become the person that you want to be so you can become extremely successful and extremely powerful. So go ahead and get that because uh, we're gonna get into some new stuff much sooner than I thought because the way I laid it out that I will be doing the course every month, um, May, June, July, August, September, November, well, October, November, December. So some of this stuff is gonna get done much sooner than I thought because you know I just gave myself room to operate. But go ahead and get that course and so you can prep yourself to become that successful person that I know is in you. That person that you can become and up your discipline level so your business can reflect who you are on the inside as well as reflect who you are on the outside. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day because we're getting ready to cook and we're getting ready to build.